All right, great. So let's see. So they just keep crashing, huh? Yeah, I think we've got <laughs> a, just a massive number of people online, so it's um, servers are straining somewhat. Um, Well, it's official. Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida is running for president. And to say that his campaign is off to a rocky start would be quite the understatement because his campaign launch was a complete fucking disaster. And it was absolutely hilarious to watch. So there were reports yesterday that were almost surreal that he was going to announce his 2024 presidential campaign with Elon Musk live in a Twitter speech. Spaces event. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, Twitter Spaces is basically Zoom without the video. So this was an audio call where he was going to be making this announcement. And Twitter is known for its glitches. It is a platform with notorious bugs. So it's a bad idea to begin with. But even if everything was copacetic and it went smoothly, think about how bad of an idea this is just from a marketing perspective. Like the reason why these presidential candidates make these announcements to crowds of people is so that way there's people cheering there. You feel the energy, you get excited. But instead, Ron DeSantis chose to hold this announcement with him and a couple of other middle-aged men breathing into the microphone with their mouths using shitty phone mics and it just was a bizarre decision but as bad as it sounded on paper in practice it was exponentially worse it was a complete disaster so as the washington post reports for the first time a presidential candidate would use the site's premier audio feature to announce a run for the white house and he'd do so in an exclusive interview with new ceo elon musk but just minutes into the twitter spaces with florida governor ron DeSantis, the site was breaking because of technical glitches as more than 600,000 people tuned in users were dropping off including DeSantis himself <laughs> A flustered Musk scrambled to get the conversation on track, only to be thwarted by his own website. Eventually, they launched a new Spaces on a separate account, citing Musk's account as the problem. Although it drew a fraction of the traffic as DeSantis eventually made his announcement roughly a half hour late. I love it so much. Couldn't have happened to a more miserable piece of shit. But I take it that Elon Musk probably regrets firing all those engineers now. But as the article stated, DeSantis did eventually make the announcement, and we're going to listen to that um, because it was very anticlimactic. But the best part was them scrambling to get it together. They start talking, and then there's silence, and then they start talking again, and then there's an echo. It's just beautiful. So I made a bunch of cuts because this was long, so we can't listen to all of it. But any of like the white flashes, that means I put a cut in there. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste as to how unbearable this was. Like imagine being excited for DeSantis' campaign announcement and you have to put up with this. So without further ado, enjoy. This, like this I'm someday. Um, all right, we're just uh, reallocating more uh, server capability uh, to be able to handle load here. It's uh, really going going crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm obviously very excited to um, have uh, Governor DeSantis uh, make this. Uh... Now it's quiet. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, everyone, depending on wherever in the world you're joining us from. I'm broadcasting live from David from Twitter headquarters. It's David Sachs here. Uh, Elon is sitting next to me. And we, want, and we want to welcome you to this historic Twitter Spaces event, and more broadly, a first in the history of social media. Uh, tonight, I'm pleased to introduce two individuals who've done more to loosen the group. All right, sorry about that. We, we've got so many people here that I think we are, we are uh, kind of melting the servers. Uh, which is a good sign. Um, all right, I'd like to just introduce the the, uh, the folks in, in the room here. So it's safe to say we wouldn't be making history without the man sitting next to me, Elon Musk. His decision to purchase this platform last year to restore to its original mission as a beacon for free speech and even to expose Twitter's past complicity with a government censorship regime 
might have surprised many, but not those of us who've known and worked with Elon for nearly a quarter century. His commitment to freedom, his commitment to freedom and his willingness to put his money where his, his mouth is, upset the narrative, upset the narrative control, control imposed on us by our government, by our government elite. elite institutions, and corporate media. Yeah. Well, let's see. So, yeah, Governor, there's been a lot of speculation over the last couple of months about your your plans. Um, I understand that you may have an announcement to make. Uh, we've got, I think, a, a record audience assembled here. Uh, you know, the, probably the biggest uh, room that's probably ever been assembled online. Uh, what, what would you like to tell them? Well, I am running for president of the United States to lead our great American comeback. Look, we know our country's going in the wrong direction. We see it with our eyes, and we feel it in our bones. Our southern borders collapse. Drugs are pouring into the country. Our cities are being hollowed out by spiking crime. The federal government's making it harder for the average family to make ends meet and to attain and maintain a middle-class lifestyle. And our president, well, he lacks vigor, flounders in the face of our nation's challenges, and he takes his cues from the woke mob. I don't think it has to be this way. American decline is not inevitable. It is a choice. And we should choose a new direction, a path that will lead to American revitalization. We must restore sanity to our nation. I'm pumped. That was ex <laughs> that was very exciting. <laughs> uh, I think that more funny to me than the silence periods were when he started talking. <laughs> <laughs> there was an echo. <laughs> I just, I love this. I love that this happened. Now, to give you additional context, if you missed the event, as this is happening, you have people immediately shitposting, making fun of Ron DeSantis. The meme started rolling in almost immediately. And as this is happening, Trump is attacking Ron DeSantis with multiple videos. He's also sharing his 2024 campaign announcement with the crowd cheering, probably to juxtapose his successful launch, which was arguable, with DeSantis's objectively bad launch. And on top of that, Trump shared this post in response to DeSantis's announcement. And I'm sorry, even though I hate Donald Trump, this was objectively hilarious. That is quality shit posting, my friends. Quality shit posting. Now, to make matters worse for DeSantis, if you look at the headlines, none of them were talking about the excitement or his comeback plan or any policies. Rather, they were mostly reporting on how disastrous his announcement was. Now, with that being said, Ron DeSantis ultimately posted a video, his first campaign ad on Twitter, which he probably just should have done to begin with rather than hold, holding this live space. But after watching this, I honestly, I don't know who this man is supposed to appeal to. Like, I get that he appeals to trad cons because of the attack on woke bullshit, but he has negative charisma, and he chose perhaps the only person on the planet with less charisma than him to help him with this announcement. I'm, of course, talking about Elon Musk, but let's watch, and then we'll discuss. Our border is a disaster. Crime infests our cities. The federal government makes it harder for families to make ends meet, and the president flounders. But decline is a choice. Success is attainable, and freedom is worth fighting for. Riding the ship requires restoring sanity to our society, normalcy to our communities, and integrity to our institutions. Truth must be our foundation and common sense can no longer be an uncommon virtue. In Florida, we prove that it can be done. We chose facts over fear, education over indoctrination, law and order over rioting and disorder. We held the line when freedom hung in the balance. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Listen, I'm not the target demographic for that ad, but even by other Republican standards, that was just boring. That was just boring. And I'm sorry, but Ron DeSantis, he, as somebody with an annoying nasally voice myself, not necessarily nasally, but I don't have like the best voice, objectively speaking, right? It's just it's facts. But like as somebody with a bad voice, you need to know your strengths and your weaknesses. And DeSantis should not have narrated his own ad. He should have hired a narrator, right? Because 
what you were saying, like, even if he were talking about this in a substantive way, when you're sitting there with this nasally fucking voice, it's just a turnoff. So, look, he is launching with a huge, huge deficit to make up between him and Donald Trump. And there were some moments after the 2022 election when he was uh, getting pretty close to Trump. But that time has passed. And now he is looking to be the laughing stock of this election cycle, not necessarily only because of his own doing, but because Donald Trump is going to rip him to shreds. And I honestly can't wait to watch. So this is only the beginning, though. So um, the memes are going to be fire. The uh, disasters are going to continue. And I'm going to grab the popcorn because I love watching the universe just uh, give back to these fascists what they put out. So yeah, DeSantis 2024, folks. It's uh, it's off to a pretty rough start. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 